Hey, what's up? This is Omari Harabin, founder of sqspthemes.com, a third-party marketplace for Squarespace themes and plugins. All right, so today we're going to have a little bit of fun. I am going to um, make a website for you, at least the first part of a website for you, using one of these Squarespace 7.1 templates. Um, doing this for a friend of mine. It's funny, when you start making like websites with this platform. Um, it typically starts out with you doing it for yourself and then, you know, a friend wants one and then another friend and then it grows from there. Um, well, this so happens to be um, a friend of mine who I made his website way back in uh, maybe like 2013, um, beginning of 2014. Um, and it was one of the first Squarespace websites that I made for anyone other than myself. So this is kind of like a throwback, except it's not, it's like right now. Um, anyway, the point is I haven't, one, I haven't made a website with Squarespace 7.1 yet. I've played around with it, tested it. Um, so you're gonna get to see me do that right here, right now, live. Um, and also I haven't really made a website period in a while, even though um, I spend a lot of time messing with them. Um, I haven't really built one from scratch in a while. So you're going to get to see that too. And so this is a very raw process. Um, like I said, I'm doing this for a friend of mine um, and I don't do this regularly. So I don't actually have like a, you know, what you'd call like an intake process. Um, basically, he has sent me two websites that um, him and his fiance like. Um, they are launching um, like some merchandise for their son. Um, so they sent me one of those designs and the color scheme, which they want it to be uh, black, white, and gold. So that's what I have to work with. Um, and so as far as like actual content goes, I'm just going to leave placeholder content and really just kind of create a quick mock-up of uh, what they could expect. And then, you know, from there, allow them to fill in the blanks with the content um, and then finish it off. So uh, I'm going to give you that first part right here right now. So let's take a look at the websites that they liked. Um, so it looks like we've got a lot of, you know, white space here um, focused on the product, uh, T-shirts, that type of thing, you know, really simple. Got a couple of blog articles here. Um, there's a video. Let's see, it pops up in the light box. Um, and got a couple logos. Um, and that's it. And then the footer down here. All right, so it's a Shopify website, actually. Um, but yeah, there's this big kind of header gallery slider thing going on um, and then some products. So let's check out the other website. So here's the other website they like. Again, we're looking at a big header banner image here. A couple of stuff in the navigation up there. Um, and then looks like what they're all about. Um, you can shop with them, check out events, get involved. Throw in your email, another video here, light box style, um, some articles, and then looks like maybe these are Instagram posts. Um, and that's pretty much it. Let's check out the shop merch since um, that's what we're going for. And yeah, so they've got, it looks like they've got a lot of stuff here. And this particular website, a lot of different collections, perhaps. Um, so it's a lot to click through, probably. And then over here, um, let's see. All right, cool. So it's just, you know, all the products laid out. Really simple, um, pretty easy to navigate. And I think this is probably more along the lines of what we're going to um, kind of be going for. Just check out an actual product page. All 
All right. You know, real simple. Um, you can leave reviews. And so these are just kind of, uh, you know, mental notes that I'm making here or verbal notes since you can hear me. All right, let's check this out. Real simple, you know, related products. All right, cool. And then this is the, the I guess, one of the first shirt designs that we're going to be putting in this store. So, um, yeah, so, I mean, that's what I got to work with, so I'm going to work with it. So these are the Squarespace 7.1 templates, and I've gone down to the online store category and um as you can see here we've got one two three four we got eight templates here i'm leaning towards this um what does it say pickle perfection perhaps um because of the kind of big header image bold font it's already there um, and maybe even this Almar, let me check this out. Okay. Let's see. And typically you can see, uh, websites that have been made with the template, but I guess those not too many sites have probably been made yet with this. Um, so Okay, I like that they have this logo thing already here because that is something that they mentioned that they wanted. Um, okay, so, excuse me, um, pretty simple, right? Let me go and check out this pickle joint. All right, so again, um, pretty simple. These would be our products right here. Um, probably put that video here. What's the deal? Okay. So All right, so this is where we're going to start to get creative. Mm. Yeah, so I'm going to, I think I'm going to go with this. Now, one thing I should mention about these templates is they are all, um, you know, variations of the same core template. So what you can do with one you can do with the other so these are really just um starting points and you can kind of customize from there so that's what we're going to do we're going to customize this um and it just so happens that um my friend who i'm doing this site for his son was on or their family was on the ellen show so i'll probably grab a video um off of youtube from that and maybe get a screenshot and put that up there. Um, knowing him, he's going to be like, yeah, that's exactly what we needed. Smart, uh, let's see what the thing is called. Smart, blessed, anything. All right. Um, what else? Edit pages. Okay, create pages, got it, style pages, got it. All right, cool, so here we are. Um, I think the first thing that we're gonna do is, let's see if we can change the color scheme in one swoop. All right, so this is the current color scheme, we've got these pink buttons um i'm not seeing where this darker blue is coming in yet but a lot of pink with this palette um 
And this is the current theme. Let's see what happens if we change it. Okay. Don't know yet. There we go. Um, okay. It still looks the same. So maybe that's for something different. So let's check out the palette, change the palette, and see if we can do a custom palette here. Custom colors. So uh, I think the black and the white are, are already built in. So we're just going to do the gold. Uh, there we go. Oops. Mm, I think that's goldy, right? Yeah, it's about gold. Oh, it's a dark gold. It's got a brighter gold. All right. So we got a gold. Um, I'm just going to go with maybe kind of like a light violet thing as an accent color. And then let's see. Let's change this to white. Hope that's okay. All right, so there, though, that's the color palette now. And um, now let's change the theme. Okay. All right. So um, I'm satisfied for now. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, play with the fonts. And then once I've got the style in kind of where I want it to be, then I'm going to go in and uh, swap out uh, you know, these images and, and change the text. So I don't know exactly what font this is here, but I'm going to try to emulate it. So I look for something similar. Um, Futura is kind of up that alley. Mm, let's see. Yeah, I think that will work. Smart, blessed, anything. And I'm probably going to make that all caps. Yeah, let's make that all caps. And, um, yeah, I'm not even going to uh, go too crazy with that. I think that's kind of takes care of itself. Now let's, let's see if we can edit this page now. So, um, I do want to change this. Let's see how we can do that. All right. Yeah, I'm going to have to edit this down. <laughs> All right, so here we are. Um, okay, so let's change the text. Um, say I can do anything. All right. Um, let's see if we can edit this. Site title. Smart, blessed, anything. Um, 
and I'll try this. Okay, cool. So let's save that. Um, and now let's change this background image. Let's delete that. Um, hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so I'm going to come back to that. And in the meantime, I'm just going to make this white. Well, I want to make the background white. There we go. All right, cool. Um, and then now let's swap, change this up a bit. Um, Um, and I'm going to say, just going to make up something here, follow along on our journey with, I hope I'm spelling it right. Yes. Okay. Journey. Um, um. The kids are more Ipsum. Okay, cool. And then we're going to sw swap out this picture. This one too. So let's just Let's just mm, mm, mm. delete. Okay. I think we were going to put a video there. So I'm going to get that video. Um, yeah. Okay. This is a form, that's good. All right, email, cool. Um, and then let's say, let's edit the footer. Let's say, um, smart. Okay, made with Squarespace. Save. All right, so now, um, now I need some actual content here um, in the form of images. Um, and once I have that, um, I think we might be shaping up all right once I get that. So let me go and grab, uh, see what else I can source, and then we'll be back.